Panorama TV presents How They Do That, where we explore the world of professional photographers and share their techniques with you. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Well, welcome back to another episode of How They Do That. Today, we're joined by Jason Wallace. He's a professional photographer in Birmingham, Alabama. Welcome to the show, Jason. Hey, thanks for having me on. Well, Jason, you do a wide variety of work. Can you tell us a little bit about the type of photography that you do? Yeah, I'm based in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, most of my work is editorial and advertising on location portraiture. So you've done a lot of stuff. Do you have a favorite photo shoot or a specific image that you've taken? I think one of my favorite images that I've made is um, a photo of a girl uh, lounging across the, uh, a chair. It was a, it was a fashion spread that we did. And uh, it was actually, it looks available light, but we lit the whole thing because the day was uh, really dreary and gray and cold. So um, we kind of created our own natural light. All right, well, one of my favorite shots that you've done is this dude that has a crazy mustache. So where do you find models like that? I mean, this guy is uh, very interesting looking. Well, we had a specific creative brief on that job, and so we really kind of went to the streets and looked uh, for, for talent for that, for that job. And I actually found that guy in Walmart. Um, I was there shopping with my kid and found him and asked him if he'd be willing to get a, 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 a scouting shot. So I took a little picture of him and they cast him. Well, that's awesome. So um, lesson learned. If you want great models, just go to Walmart and look around. You'll find some. Um, well, one of the things that is uh, interesting about your photography is that um, a lot of stuff is environmental, on location. So do you have any specific gear that you use when you're out on location? My location gear um, consists uh, of several different strobes that I, I'll pull from depending on the job, but um, kind of the, the unit that keeps getting used over and over is a Profoto 600R. It's great, it's very light, and uh, packs a lot of power for um, such a small package. So Jason, can you tell us a little bit about the equipment that you use on a day-to-day -day basic? What camera do you use? What flashes and things like that do you use? The gear that I use um, mostly, my favorite is uh, the Canon Mark III 1DS uh, with a 50 millimeter lens. I could probably uh, photograph most of the work that I do. Um, it's a great setup, great general setup. If I'm just going out uh, to photograph my kids or just even for fun, not for work, um, I might grab the 5D Mark II um, as well as my 50 millimeter trusted lens and um, just go have fun with it. And when you're on location, do you have a specific style of lighting? Um, it really depends on the job, depending on the creative brief from either the art director or the photo director at a magazine. Um, but a lot of times if it's my own personal work, uh, you know, I really want to I want things to pop and kind of look a little surreal and a little, um, I just want somebody to kind of pause with the image and, and, and kind of give it a second look because it, it doesn't look quite natural light, but it doesn't look quite overly lit. So it's, it's a real fine, uh, just a real nuanced lighting style that I'm going for. Now some of your most interesting shots to me uh, were shot in Kenya and India. And I really, I've been to India, I really love it. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. Why were you there? Well, my travels to India and Kenya both were uh, for different uh, NGOs, and I really have a heart for, um, for supporting nonprofit work, and these organizations are both great organizations that I went, uh, went there with, Never Thirst and then Compassion International, things that I really believe in, and so they allowed me to kind of go and shoot in my style and, and really do uh, kind of interpret the, the country um, through my eyes and, and they really valued that so it was really a great partnership. So in India, uh, I'm sorry, in Kenya you had some very interesting looking portraits and it looks like you have some artificial light. Can you walk us through exactly how you lit those and took those uh, photos in Kenya? Sure, uh, one of the photos that people are continually drawn to from Kenya is um, a little boy named Ian that I shot um, in a project in the in the slums of Mathari in Nairobi and um, that shot I basically set him up with the sun to his back so I could kind of get the sun acting as a rim light and then um, I believe it was camera right set up a uh, gridded uh, small octobank from Chimera on the Profoto 600R. Is there a reason why you chose that pack uh, over and above any other pack for location shooting? Yeah I chose the 600R after doing um, several tests with different lighting setups and it ultimately was the light that I liked um, that I wanted most but in addition it travels very easily it's very light it's very compact and the battery pulls out really simply um, so that you can pop it in your camera bag and put the unit under uh, in a check bag but then you'd also always have the battery with you in your camera bag according to airline regulations. So Jason uh we know that you're a faith-based photographer. Can you tell me a little bit about what that means to you and how it impacts your photography? Well, my faith is 
kind of the core of who I am and um, it plays into anything that I do and as a photographer um, being able to partner with faith-based organizations that need um, imagery and need support and, and video and whatever kind of collateral that they need to t help tell their story that's what I want to be a part of so when I get the opportunity of, with an organization to go and tell their story kind of through my interpretation and through my eyes um, and they and they find value in that and it, it also gives back to me it allows me to um, you know, it's one of those things, it's, it's more blessed to give than receive, and, and I come away so much more full after giving um, than just taking, and so it's, a, it's a, just a way to give back. So a bunch of people wrote in on Twitter and asked us to ask you a few questions, and here's the first one. This one comes from Maggie Reif, that's her Twitter name, and she asks, uh, what inspires you? I, I really find inspiration in people. Um, people are what inspire me. That's the reason I do what I do, and that's why I'm a portrait photographer. I'm very um, intrigued and interested in getting to know people's story and, and hearing the stories of the people that I photograph and getting to know, the, to know them just in a, in a few seconds in a session. Um, you find out so many interesting things, and there's so many interesting connections, and, and the experience that I have um, either going to these people or once I meet them or where they take me or the job that they do, these are the things that inspire me, and, and at the core of it, it is, it is people. The next question comes from Tim Marmon, and he asks, uh, Jason, where and how did you get the sweet mobile URL set up? It's great for viewing on a phone. Can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about your website and how it's optimized for mobile devices? The website I use is a, is a great template-based um, website from Rob Haggard of uh, aphotoeditor.com. It's aphotofolio.com. And they were actually the first to um, set up the mobile devices um, websites, for, especially for the iPad. So uh, they're out. It's the best value. Um, I highly recommend it. Well, Jason, unfortunately, we're out of time today. Thank you very much for joining us here. Thanks for having me. And remember, if you'd like to see more information about Jason Wallace's photography, you can find that at jasonwallace.com or just visit the Adorama Learning Center for more information and links to all the equipment that we talked about in this episode of How They Do That. Thanks for joining us, and I'll see you next time. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.